Hey, but here we start now. We got a 1988 but this is also 82 to 1989. We have the same speaker in play over here. It's going to be the front door speaker along with the bass amplifier. If you've got a side out, if you've got a side out, if you've got a corner of your system, if your stereo system is not working, this is going to be the problem. These amplifiers are a problem at every time. It's just a matter of time. Usually, you know, within about five, six years of your life, they've been problems some of them two or three times in your lifetime. No stereo sound, look at the amplifier. Now, as you notice, you see the size of this box. Unfortunately, the way this is designed, that means the only way to get this particular box out is to take this pan out of here. You have to take this entire pan out and everything, and then finally you can get this box out. So this is a big deal if you've got a, a problem. Make sure you get a new amplifier before you go and spend all that time trying to make this work. Amplifiers are typically the problem. Speakers, if you have an issue with the speaker, very simple test. Take a couple of wires, a bolt and a half battery, like your double A battery, and run one side to the other. Positive or negative, doesn't matter polarity. Um, touch it, if the speaker can move, you've got a good speaker, it's going to be the one. These do go out, but not very often. So now we're going to move on. We've got this window regulator here. This is a later regulator. This would be General Motors design in 87 and up. All of the from 1996 had this blue type regulator. The early cars had a tape side that was a plastic drive moving the window up. And in those cars, typically, you've got to think about when you want to put the window up because it takes uh, maybe three or four blocks before the window's up at the top position. So the big fix anymore is everybody replaces those early regulators. When we've got those, we've got a complete new regulator assembly. Everything's good. The bolt right in, plugs right in, very simple replacement. And you might never have to worry about uh, your thing. Bigger than I could do is the wind is still low when I talk to you. Stop for about half an hour. That's the definite thing that is coming up when we regulate it. Now we move on here, we go to this door lock actuator. The door lock actuator, what this does, this gets this new power door lock, put the button, and it moves it up. These things are prone to some problems. They'll end up with these boots actually melting, and they'll go into the mechanism, and they'll stop them, and they'll get working. This is uh, another thing that's somewhat of a pain in the neck to do because you can get it, but you've got to get it in and out. You've got a couple of rivets to deal with on the top and bottom. It has to be drilled off and get it out of there. Now, while we're in this area also, I'd like to uh, talk about a switch. And we're going to have a closer look on the switch back there in the corner. Okay, and inside here we're talking about area. We've got a switch. This is the door of dry switch, but it's also the security switch. So if this switch fails, unfortunately what happens is you end up with a situation where you set the door, you think the alarm set, and it may not be set, or you come back to get in the car, you turn the key, and you go to get in it, and it thinks that somebody's trying to steal the car. So this switch is often the problem when you have a security issue, and you have an uh, interior light issue with an interior light in the wall, where your door is at. So this is a very common failure with the particular switch. As you see, there's a plate on the back of it. Unfortunately, that means that we uh, can't just replace this switch very simply by taking the screws out from the other side. So we're going to give you a little closer look at what we're talking about. And now on this side, as you can see, this is the actual switch that goes against the door pole and lets it know whether the door is ajar or the security system needs to be doing in place. The couple of screws they've got. Real simple, so you think of that, all I gotta do is I just pull a couple of keys out, pull the switch out, plug it in, all the time fails. You then decide you get to pull the door panel off to hold the little plate on the back side because it doesn't have anything to clean. So unfortunately, a very simple job requires the door panel removed. 